As I prepare to make a new set of potting mix here, I have here my container that I will be mixing my cocoa car inside of. So first we have here our cocoa car brick here. This is made by Burpee and this is actually compressed down. So first of all, what we are going to do is that we are going to pull the plastic seal off of our cocoa car brick. And there we go. So now we take our brick here and we set it into our tub and we get ready to hydrate. Now, as we're hydrating this right here, I want to go ahead and tip this tub over in a corner so this is the way the cocoa coir compressed brick will be able to soak this stuff up and it will take the water up like a sponge. So as we, as you see here, okay, now the cocoa coir is starting to break apart and we break it apart a little by little. But this is actually a gallon of water that I added into this tub here. And as you can see, this cocoa coir actually holds this water very, very well. And by itself, I would not dare use this to start my tomato seeds again. This right here was actually a big mistake that I made here. So um, right now we're just trying to make sure that we get every bit of dry piece of the cocoa coir compressed brick into the water so that we can try to get it up to absorb as much water as possible but even then it's not going to be um, this thing has so much water in it that we're definitely going to have to add peat moss as well as uh, perlite to the mix as well and as you can see here I'm still trying to mix it up really good and trying to get it to where we can make it into a decent potting mix Now we got our brick pretty much broken down really good and the next step we will be doing once we get all of our um, peat, actually our cocoa peat um, spread out pretty nicely here. We can see here that um, looks like everything is starting to spread out really nicely. Now this does take time so one thing about it is you got to be nice and patient. Now you see here um, this stuff crumbles up really good and it doesn't leave a messy residue on your hands which is really really nice thing about cocoa car and it actually makes it a really good um, growing medium for when you use it in a hydroponic system see this just how it crumbles nicely in your hand but the problem is is that this stuff holds water in it and see how I can just wring it out just like that that is to me not very acceptable when it comes to growing tomato seedlings um, it'd be very very susceptible to to um, rot and such. So next up, we're going to add the peat moss. Next up, we're going to add in our Miracle Grow peat moss here. You can see here Miracle Grow peat moss. This is actually eight quarts of peat moss and we're going to mix this stuff into our cocoa car and once we get the bag open here then we're going to go ahead and add it into our cocoa car mix here and we want to get it nice evenly spread out and such and then we're going to start to do our mixing to make sure that we get our cocoa car mixture done properly here now here you can see that you know we've taken a little a spade here when we're mixing it all up you know, making sure that we do create a very nice fluffy mix. Now you can see that the cocoa car is actually very, very wet and the peat moss does not take water in very easily. So you can see this is this definitely takes more effort to mix in really well and to get our um, cocoa car mixed in with the peat moss. But as you can see, you know, we just stay with it, just keep mixing it and it'll all come together nicely and it would form a very nice fluffy potting mix here. So we see here to, all right. And our next step, we want to add our Dakota peat. This is actually very, very good for helping our tomato seedlings to get to a good start and having a very, very good root system. And Dakota peat is actually a really good product that actually help grows healthy grass and such because it's, it's all in the roots. You know, when you have healthy roots, you're going to have very, very healthy plants. Now, you can see here that we are getting our mix, then getting our Dakota peat mixed in really good. So we already got our peat moss mixed in. We got our cocoa car mixed in. 
Now you noticed I have not added any more water to this since we had first started this whole process. Next, we're going to add our perlite. Now, since we got our perlite in here, we're gonna to start to get the mixes, start mixing it up really good here. So it's gonna take time to mix up the perlite, but what you wanna do is that you wanna make sure that you get it mixed in very, very evenly. You know, cause perlite does tend to want to kind of float up to the top, you know, they say, but you're also going to have um, darker spots in the corners and everything too. So you want to mix this stuff up really, really good. Be as thorough as you can. And if need be, you know, you can always add a second or a third batch of um, perlite, but we're adding eight quarts of perlite to our mix. Last but not least, we want to go ahead and do a test on our potting mix. And you can see here, you can hold it in your hand and you know it would definitely hold together letting us know that it has good moisture retention and this right here makes a very very nice potting mix there so see I can make a nice little ball right there in my hands it doesn't fall apart easily and when I squeeze it it does not drip a lot of water in it just like when it was the cocoa car by itself so this right here shows that this is a very good quality potting mix and this is something very, very nice to use when you are creating your own potting mix for your seedlings. These are the seed, seeds that we are planting called Cosmic Eclipse. And you can see the beautiful colors in these tomatoes here. I had these tomatoes since 2019, so I'm going to see how well these things germinate, even if they've been in the freezer for over a couple years. And now here are seedlings in their little heat mat and also in their germination case there and if you look over here we'll show you the temperature 83.5 degrees there we go